is no question that this is a, a, a full out satire. There are so many lines in it that are so satirical. The uh, prejudiced um, senator says, immigrants, I've been having trouble with them. My whole family has been having trouble with them since we came to this country. Well, of course, the joke being that they were immigrants too. Um, so uh, th that type of level of humor was very, very much in style then. And nobody did it better than E.Y. Harburg, who believed what he wrote. He was definitely um, as left as left could be, and um, certainly saw no danger in having blacks and whites mix. And the thing is, it's very smart um, to basically have it done with children more than uh, adults, because you, you, kids are cute, and, you know, you, you give you a forbearance there. So it's very smart to uh, do that first. And then, uh, of course, we do see a great deal of interaction between the blacks and the whites. But um, the most important thing, of course, that happens is that um, given that we're dealing with a show with three wishes, um, Sharon inadvertently says uh, i wish you were black and you know not thinking anything of it not knowing that um, she's standing above the goal that has the power to make a wish and this has become such a controversial thing a lot of people really believe um they have a knee-jerk reaction to the fact that they're making fun of blacks what's really happening here is that famous expression you don't know what a person's life is like until you walk in his shoes well in this case senator rollins is walking in his uh skin uh black man's skin and, and he doesn't like it at all. Needless to say, his whole life changes as a result of that. So, so that's what really makes Finian's Rainbow significant. Um, and but it's so sad that people <clears throat> miss that point today and and really you know, worry about it being politically correct. Any revival of Finian's Rainbow has failed. Um, there was one in 1960 that uh, only lasted 12 performances. It was one a few years ago that um, uh, that started Irish Rep and moved to Broadway. It didn't last long at all. It's a tough show for today because we we do feel um, um, uh, such sympathy, if not empathy, for uh, as much empathy as we can give being white um, to to blacks. And in in an era where we're just very very primed to be very very critical uh, slash aware. Um, it's, it's a show that, um, is probably the most misunderstood Broadway musical because E.Y. Harburg never had any intention of doing anything, but trying to wake up people to say, look, look, uh, we're all the same. And, um, that's what it comes down to. I like the book. I like the music, but it's the lyrics that make this show so terrific in my, in my opinion. Uh, the term sui generis, uh, one and no, no, nothing else uh, can, can compare to it. Um, that's E.Y. Harburg, who certainly um, had no problem making up his own words when he needed to. And um, they're delightfully droll when, whenever that happens. And uh, such skill. Um, uh, when every poor relative becomes a rocker fellative. Um, yeah, that's that's wonderful. Uh, that takes real imagination. Uh, in something sort of grandish, the, the, the dialogue before it establishes the fact that sometimes people use the term ish, meaning uh, like. And so uh, something sort of grandish. And there are so many words that he in, invents uh, that he puts the uh, suffix ish on. But what's so great What's, <laughs> I mean, after he uses words like delish and what have you, uh, it's the beginnish of the finish of me. Finish is not a made up word, and yet it still has the ish sound. And it, it, to save that for last, I mean, that is such a subtle joke. You really have to be paying attention and uh, have your um, antennae up to really catch that one. But uh, that's really a, a terrific idea that after all those made up words, uh, suddenly there's one that has the ISH and it belongs there. But I love when uh, lyricists take three words that rhyme that don't look alike on the page. And he does that in the song Necessity. Um, tennis. N-I-S, Venice, I-C-E, Menace, A-C-E. Uh, they rhyme perfectly, tennis, Venice, Menace. Nobody would disagree that they rhyme um, incorrectly. They are perfect rhymes, but it's fun to, for those of us who visualize um, dialogue when, and lyrics on the page when we're listening. Uh, we visualize that. It's fun to see that those three things um, don't uh, match up in terms of spelling but they certainly do match up because of rhymes. Peter Felicia's Broadway appears in every issue of the Broadway Maven's Weekly Blast.